Thank you, Speaker Pro Tem. I stand here this evening and I'm wearing the color orange and it's not a fashion statement. I am wearing orange to create an awareness about what gun violence does. I am standing here today because I have lost more than 10 students that I have taught in 10 years to gun violence. I've taught them. I was their teacher. This evening, I just want to send prayers out to the family of the 22-year-old who was gunned down last night. I didn't hear about it last night, because after, after being here, I went home and I worked on school stuff. As many of you know, I'm a full-time teacher in the city of Providence. And I got up this morning and I saw the news and it was really heart-wrenching on many levels. I didn't know the young man. But I myself have two sons that are 21 years old. And whether or not, it really bothers me. I ask all of us to think about gun violence and to not think of it from the realm of it is a providence issue. Gun violence, it's not a providence issue. Gun violence is a national issue and it's a Rhode Island issue. And I think we can solve it. I think we can solve it by making sure that we invest in our schools and in our communities, communities of color, black and brown, and poor white communities. It is not okay that we are losing our brightest and our youngest to gun violence. And I'm just standing here today because number one, I teach, but more importantly, I'm a mother first. And it really wears on me to lose another child. So, in conclusion, I want you to join me. I have started over the summer on an initiative that's called a community response to joblessness and gun violence. Because deep in my soul, I believe that the root cause is poverty. And if we can solve the issue of poverty, then I'm sure that decades later, someone will not be standing here in your presence to talk about gun violence. So thank you for your time. Representative Wrangelin Bessel, uh, did you have the name of the young man that you wanted us to adjourn in memory of? I don't know the young man's name. I'll tell you why. I got up, I did not know about it until this morning when I got up. And I got up and I went to school. And it's been a tough day at school. I'm totally broken. And I, came, I left work and I came here today. But we know that it's a young man and it's their family. So I ask that you adjourn and we adjourn in his memory. But more importantly, I think we must make sure that the policies that we address address the issue of poverty in our core our urban areas. So thank you so much. Thank you. Adjournment speaker. Proceed. This afternoon I ask us to close in the memory of the young man that I just spoke about earlier. His name is Jose Contreras. He's 22 years old. May his soul rest in peace. Thank you.